people don't know where I come from. I come from a really dark past. I was addicted to drugs. I suffered a lot of trauma in my life. I've done prison time. I hung around with a lot of, you know, interesting characters. Very deceptive environment. I saw you make the change, like I can do it too. How old are you? 2016. I've only been doing this for a year. If you're lucky, man. When'd you get away from all that? Look, they're still my mates. Yeah, yeah. I'm just. Just, You're just, taking a different path. Yeah, like I'm walking my own path and I'll still see them every now and then. Yeah, yeah. I recognise what's happening and I just keep my distance. Yeah, they'll end up in jail or drug they addicts are, or yeah, in are. the shit, mate. That's yeah. Everyone does. Yeah. It just depends on what type of sentence they get when they do get caught. Yeah. That's the luck about it. Like, you either get six years, you get caught for six months, that yeah. six months changes you. I rarely see, like, 1%, less than 1% of people get out of there. Yeah. You made the right choice, mate. Yeah. I saw the world in a certain way. I saw the world in a very sinister way because that was how I was brought up and spent 10 years in gangs and, you know, around dodgy people. Committed acts of violence myself. I was a violent person. You know, I had a lot of respect for the acts of violence I committed on people. Um, I've done a lot of things I regret in my past. Uh, I suffered a lot of, uh, I suffered PTSD from things that happened. Yeah, thank yeah. you for being an inspiration, like to show us. You know, have a way, of course, bro. No, no, like, I'm, I'm sure you hear a lot, like thanks, 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 and all that praise. But like, I, I really wanted to share. No, you. Your story is like, one of the most yeah. important to me, man, because like that life. There's nothing good that comes out of it, eh? Yeah. And like yeah, so yeah. many good people are wasted down that, that hole, you know? Yeah, uh, definitely. Just, uh, yeah. We've both seen it. Yeah. yeah. It turns people into the it turns people into a monster that they're not, you know? Yeah. So it's better to do something worthwhile with your courage, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I love it. Yeah. yeah. I try my best, I go home and just try again. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. When I was imprisoned. I had a wake-up call. There was a lot of gang members in prison. A lot of people doing, you know, 10 years, 15 years, 25 years for one stupid thing they did. And you're not a tough guy in prison, I'll tell you that. You might think you are on the outside, but you're just like everyone else, you know? And um, I really had a wake-up call that I'm either going to spend my whole life here or I'm going to use my gifts that I was given to do something good. You know, I come from the gutter, mate, and come, now I'm, I've got a big platform to help animals, and nothing feels yeah. better than that, man. Uh, it must be. Yeah. Doing a lot, man. It really must be. When I got out of prison, okay, I started to see the hypocrisy in claiming to care about some animals while eating a dead one. I changed because I felt that I was not an evil person. I didn't want to be cruel to animals, but when I realized I was, that there was a piece of an animal on my plate, I felt like a hypocrite. And I didn't want to be a hypocrite. I wanted to practice what I preach. I want you to remember that feeling of being a hypocrite. Use that in your activism. Why do you avoid that in your activism? Don't be shy. That's what changed me. You either go vegan or you continue for this cruelty in your life, which is bad, yeah? It's really hard for them to justify something that's obviously so cruel and un unjustified, yeah. I know we're all different. We all have our own styles. We're all, some are softer spoken, some are more polite, some are more about peace and love. We've got one thing in common though. We think animal abuse is atrocious. Now what changed you? What changed you into an ethical vegan? It was the animals, hey? I don't want to pay for something I'm morally against. I don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't want to be an animal abuser. Now, I don't want to be a human abuser. I don't want to hurt people either. I was a hypocrite across the board, trust me, more than anyone. This evolution that I had all come from self-realization. Hey, you're in gangs, you're doing bad things, your mum's crying, you, you know, you've done, you've hurt your family, everyone's scared of you. You've got a piece of an animal on your plate that was tortured and killed. The animals did nothing wrong to me, all right? Nothing at all. That was a realization for me. That's what motivated me to change. You gotta to speak to that in other people, however you do it. Not any other animal like that. They don't wanna die, they're yeah, scared. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They wanna be protected and cared for like muffin. Yeah. We're just disconnected. Imagine the animals in the water, right? Yeah. They're just animals in the water, muffin, in the water. Yeah. Fish. Yeah. Exactly the same. Yeah. Next minute they get dragged out and they're suffocating and then yeah. they're being, you know, so yeah. from 
when you look at it, you look at it from the victim's yeah. point of view yeah. and how that would feel like. And helpless. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Helpless. Obviously, I do it my way and you'll do it your way. But you have to make that person feel responsible. You have to speak to that part in their heart that knows this is wrong and you have to lead them to the realisation that they're causing it. You have to do that. Otherwise, it's just an interesting thought. Oh wow, they made me think. No, you don't want to make them think. You don't make them feel responsible. The blood is on your hands, okay? I'm not asking you to swear and be blunt and do what I do. Do it in your own way, all right? Because we're all different. But make sure you never forget that this individual here is paying for something they're against and they don't know yet. So you have to do them the service. Yeah, yeah. we've got all this power and we're abusing the power yeah. and we pay for that to go on. Yeah. They don't deserve one cent of your money ever again. Yeah. It's not okay. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the knife is in the hand of the consumer. You're paying for them to be killed. There's no way around it. Save everyone a bunch of time and hassle, okay? Stop pandering. Yeah, I think I uh, fell into the trap of pandering a little bit too much because I thought that that was the way. I realized that I was wasting everyone's time. Their time, my time, the animal's time. I just want to be direct. You might have five minutes to talk to this person. Only five minutes. You might have one minute. You have to make them feel responsible for what's on the screen in one minute. Are you going to talk about this and that issue and that? No, keep it focused on the victims. It's hard to convert from meat to you know, something else. Well, who's it harder for? That's why if it's yeah. hard, it's not hard for me to be a vegan because I look at it from the animal's perspective, not my own. Yeah. Then it's easy. It's easy when you look at it from their eyes. Yeah. Put them in the victim's position. How would you like it? If you were being held against your will, raped, have your children taken and stabbed to death at the end of it and turned into a burger, digested and flushed down the toilet. Is that not animal abuse? How would you feel? Put the onus on them, uh, help them understand what it's like to be a victim. The alien's gonna come down and do the same to us. <laughs> Maybe then we'll learn. Maybe then people will learn what it feels like to be a victim, you know? All right, because many people here, they wouldn't have a, the first clue about what it's like to be a victim. I know, I know what it's like. I've had a gun to my head. I know what it's like to stare down the barrel of a gun. I know what it's like to be held hostage. I've seen it happen, okay? But many people here don't know what it's like to be a victim. So it's hard for them to, to look at it through the victim's eyes. You've got to help them. You've got to help them understand what it's like to be pushed into a gas chamber, to use empathy. If you've only got five minutes, choose your words carefully, okay? Don't spend your time talking about this climate and health and all these things. Focus on what the knife that's being shoved into the animal's jugular. So do you think um, if the animal agriculture uh, have any effects on the global warming? I, I don't know too much about the, the climate change issue. It probably does. If you speak to the experts, they could probably tell you. But for me, the issue is through the eyes of the animals. They are being tortured and harmed and by good people who don't see it. So for me, the climate is important for all of our survival, but when you think of a, of a cow, they're only thinking of being free and they don't want to be tortured. So for me, this is the issue. The issue for me is animal rights and for the animals, it's uh, for their own freedom. You know, like Gary Ofsky said, one of the best things he ever said is always speak for the animals. Hey, you would want to be spoken for if you were in their position. And that's exactly how I want you to speak for the animals and that's what they deserve. This is Animal Rights Activism Sydney and they're showing uh, what happens to animals for meat, dairy and eggs and other in industries that ex exploit and kill animals. Uh, the outreachers will talk to the public and show them how they're actually causing this to happen. Torture. It's disgusting torture. Okay, so the responsibility is on the consumer. They pay for this these horrible industries and most people have a good heart. They don't want to uh, abuse and be cruel to animals. So we're showing them how they are, but how they don't know about it yet so that they can change. So thank you everyone. Keep up the amazing work and always use the animals to motivate you too. Always use, you know, like look, we all go free ups and downs. Like look, it's, it's hard in the movement too. Everyone knows what the best way is. You know, everyone's like the, the most critical person. You'll be doing the right thing in your heart and you'll be shot down for it, trust me, by people that you thought were comrades. But you're not doing it for them. And um, I've seen some comments online
feeling like you're too, I don't know, brutal or honest or whatever. That is bullshit. Like, yeah, I know. And there's other people doing it in a different way. So everyone coming together, it's like... Yeah, and it, I don't tell them, don't do it that way. I do it my way and yeah, we're all yeah, doing the same thing. Exactly. Is the pig shooting you down? Has the chicken done anything wrong to you? No, they're, they're still being victimised. So don't worry about other, what other people say, what other vegans say, what meat eaters say to you, what, you know, closed-minded people say to you. Just keep the animals in mind and you'll stay in this movement for life until this ends. Because I will be, okay? Because I will be. All right. Thank you very much. Ooh. Thanks, everyone. All right. Thank you. Your story has literally inspired me like crazy, like dragging yourself out of the muck and like doing what you're doing. And oh, wow. you've inspired a crazy ton of people. You know that already. But oh, thank you. I just need to add to the voice of probably lots of people who are telling you this. Thank you. I'm really, can I give you a hug? Of course, thank of course. You nice so to meet you. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything you've done for the animals. Thank you, mate. And you too, mate. Oh, thank you. Keep going too, brother. All right? Thanks. Don't stop. Yeah, mate. No worries. Keep it up, eh? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah. Hello, Julia. Um, I heard you went vegan, and that's fantastic. Um, thank you so much for thinking of the animals by doing making that choice, and I hope you get out there and do some outreach so you can help defend the animals with all of us here, like we're doing here in Sydney. It's just the cow. Boom. Take care. All right, so this is it. That was my little two weeks in Australia with the team, and... Uh, about to call it a day. It's been uh, very interesting and uh, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot since I've been an activist. We need to move this movement forwards and keep it focused on the victims. So this won't be the last you see of me. Meat should be illegal. Animal products should be illegal, 100%. Gotta go vegan. They've seen that and then the message they're left with is you gotta go vegan. It's like, they're walking past, I mean it's it's more than it's better than not saying nothing, eh?